I'm going to show you how to get the thumb gusset started. Here's my first completed mitt. The thumb gusset refers to this area right here where you use increases to widen out the hand in order to compensate for the fact that your thumb you know, basically makes your hand wider. It's wider than your wrist. So I'm going to show you how to get that set up and how to do these increases that you use to make that wider area. So here is my second knit and I've gotten it to the point where I've done the knit to purl to rib for five and a half inches like the pattern says and I've also gotten it to the point where I'm nearly at the end of one of the stripes. And this might be a little difficult to see on this camera, but there's just a little bit of white left in the yarn, and it's about to change to gray. So that's where I want to be, at the end or near the end of one of the colors in your self-striping yarn. Now you already have a stitch marker placed to mark the beginning of the round. And regardless of what kind of needles you're working on, if it's double points, magic loop like I'm doing, or two circulars, you're probably going to want to have that beginning of the round marker actually in the fabric and not on the needle, just because it's going to fall off the needles all the time if you've got it actually on the needles. This is just kind of reminding you that this is the beginning of the round. The pattern also tells you to place a second marker right after the first two stitches. So on that last round of straight knit two purl two ribbing, you knit two, place a second marker, and then work around to the end of the round. So that's where I am right now. Now I'm at the point where I want to start the thumb gusset, and I'm going to show you how to do these increases. So thumb gusset round one tells you to M1R, which means make one right leaning. And the way you do that is as follows. If you see this this thread right here that is in between the last stitch I just worked and the one I'm about to work. This thread right here. I need to pick that up from back to front with my left hand needle. So let me show you that again. Take the left hand needle and from the back pick up that bar and now I'm going to knit it. Be careful not to, oops, <laughs> not to get the yarn wrapped around the needle. And it's called right leaning because this little, this little bar will lean out to the right. So that's my M1R. Now I need to knit to the second marker And now I need to make a make one left increase. For this increase, I'm going to take my left hand needle and pick up that bar again in between the stitches, but I'm going to do it from the front, like that. So again, I take the left hand needle and just go under that bar from the front. And now I will knit that stitch through the back loop. Like that. So now I have four stitches where I used to have two. You slip the marker and work in your rib as set. So now I'm going to purl two, etc.